Hello, Everyday Faith family. My name is Stephanie Kenyon, and I'm so happy to be here with each and every one of you as we go over the month of boldness. I hope you're all working at it and being bold every day and every minute of this month and um, stepping out of the box and just being brave and letting the Lord lead and guide you um, no matter how hard the decision is um, that you need to take or things you need to say or things you need to get off your chest. I hope you're just you know, being wise, using discernment and being bold in your approach. Um, but yeah, we're on day 28. So I just wanted to go over day 28 with you guys. And I love it. I just wanted to show you. It says, be somebody nobody thought you could be. I love that so much. Be somebody nobody thought you could be. Listen to that, soak it up, and say it one more time. Be somebody nobody thought you could be. This hits home for me because I feel like people have this idea of who I am and who I'm not. And I feel like I'm always trying to live up to that. I feel like nothing I do or say is ever good enough. I feel like I'm always trying to show my worth and value and how much I have to offer and what I could do and what I could put forth in the right direction to accomplish the dreams and visions God has for me and he's put in my heart. And sometimes I think I let myself down and I let people down. So this right here where it says be somebody nobody thought you could be, I feel like that, I feel like I have a lot to prove and I feel like I continue to work at being my best and better version of myself no matter what that looks like every single day. And whatever God wants that to be, I just try to go in that direction and let him lead and guide me. I think the reason I feel this way is because my path and my journey has not been easy. I've struggled many times in many seasons and on many days for many various reasons. And it hasn't been the easiest journey and it's been hard. And I fought every step of the way and I even haven't fought sometimes. And I think that I've had to bail on commitments and make choices and decisions that were hard to make. And it was my truth and my understanding, even if people didn't understand it. Um, I had to do what I felt was right in my heart and what I felt like the Lord was leading and guiding me to do. And I think that takes boldness. And I think that makes people um, not really know if they could count on you or rely on you when you're suffering or hurting or going through depression or anxiety and you can't commit to things. But at the end of the day, you do your very best. And I think at the end of the day, when you get back on your feet and you show how capable you are and that we all go through times and we all need to be understanding and accepting of where somebody's at, then you don't have anything to prove to people anymore. But I think it's like more proving it to yourself and what you're capable of doing and how far you're able to go and push yourself and not give up on yourself. I think that's the real test. Um, not just proving to people that, look, I could do it, but proving to yourself and showing up for yourself in your life and making everything count and um, not playing it safe and going for what you really want in life. It's easier said than done, but um, I think if we keep working at it and we just show that we're way more better off and capable than we thought we were and we're smarter and we're enough, then I think we could just accomplish anything if we really believe in ourselves and believe that God is going to get us there. So have a